When it's summertime in Chicago, you can definitely find me on one of the many patios that our city has to offer. Today, we're in Logan Square because Jared says this place has Chicago's best patio. It's Park and Field. So Dan, out here on the patio, beautiful day. Talk to me about Park and Field. My brother, myself, and my brother's wife, Kitty, wanted to have something with a large patio, so we found an area that used to be a used car dealership. We bought it off two mechanics. Now we have a 6,000 square foot patio in the middle of Chicago. It's got a huge outdoor deck, which is super unique to Chicago. I mean, it's a huge patio, probably the best patio I've been to in the city. I love an outside patio, so it's really nice. I love the outdoors, so I love the fact that there's an outside, and it's huge. If somebody's never been here before, mm -hmm. how would you describe Park and Field to them? You're sitting in your backyard, you sit by a fire pit later in the night, and you roast your marshmallows, make s'mores. We came for the food, obviously, and the drinks. Mm -hmm. What are we making today? Farmer's hash. I'll strike a deal with you here. Okay. I will eat your farmer's hash mm -hmm. if you promise me s'mores at the fire pit when Absolutely. we're done. I'm gonna go meet your brother in the kitchen, All cook right. up some of that farmer's hash. And I'll make sure the s'mores are ready for you. Yes! Cheers. Cheers to that! From one brother to the other brother, it's time to make the farmer's hash. How do we do it? It's a very seasonal dish. We change the ingredients as it goes through the year, you know, depending on what's in season. We work a lot with farmers. We start with our fresh local veggies. One handful of each. One handful of each. I love each. the way these purple potatoes look. Carrot, a little bit of fingerling, the onion, a little bit of asparagus, salt. Oh, I'm good at this. I learned. Go for it. The regular salt, salt bay. bay over there. See, he knows. <laughs> oh, brother. Put them in an oven at high heat and we roast them. Gonna go for the flip? I don't know. You only live once. <laughs> Dave seems to have this under control. I'm gonna head out to the patio and work up an appetite on Park and Field's most unique attraction. Gentlemen All right. first. Can you do a handstand? No! You're up now. <laughs> Are you supposed to like do stuff like this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was definitely all worth s'mores because I did that in heels. Sorry I embarrassed Great you job. in your own restaurant. Okay, no. There's nothing like a 90 degree day in front of a fire. Kitty, you drew the long straw clearly here. You get to do the easy part, the eating portion. That's right. Yep. So let's dig in. Kale is like the perfect crisp on top of all yes. the cooked vegetables and that mushroom sauce. Light, it's refreshing, it's crispy. I don't know about you, but I am ready for those s'mores. Everyone has their own way of making s'mores. Okay. Some people like them gooey, some people like them dry, and I like mine charcoal, ashy, burnt to a crisp, <laughs> delicious. It's the perfect summer night out on the patio. S'mores with Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> 